Are you looking for the best welding helmet for TIG? In this video, we will look at some of the 5 best helmet on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Miller Digital Elite with Clear Light Lens. The Miller Digital Elite is my overall top pick as it combines useful features and durability with an affordable price tag. It's suitable for TIG welding on low amperage, offers a clear view of your work, and comes with a bunch of operating modes that you can switch between as you weld. This helmet features a clear light lens that'll give you a natural world color with a regular black tint. Basically, it doesn't have a green or blue tint, but just the sort of tint you'd get from sunglasses, except much safer and suitable for welding. The variable shade range combined with the operating modes makes the Digital Elite the perfect choice for the versatile welder. You can go between shades 5 to 8 for cutting and 9 to 13 for different types of welding. The welding hood doesn't come with shade 14, but a lot of the new helmets don't. Shade 14 is generally useful for super high amperage industrial work so I'm not sure you'd really need it anyway. Keep in mind that the Miller also comes with an AutoSense feature that's perfect for welders who often change their working environment. This function will detect if you're indoors or outdoors, what the level of light around you is, and adjust the viewing lens accordingly. This auto-darkening welding helmet comes with four modes, weld, cut, grind mode, and X mode. X mode is Miller's own inventive contribution to the welding industry that addresses the dangers that may occur if the arc sensors fail to work. X mode utilizes electromagnetics to reduce interference from sunlight and detect arcs even in cases where the sensors don't activate for some reason. For instance, if you weld from odd angles in narrow spaces, there may be obstacles blocking the arc sensor from detecting the arc. In this scenario, an X mode serves as a trusty backup feature. On this subject, the Miller Digital Elite comes with four arc sensors, which is optimal. Whatever position you work in, they'll be able to detect an arc. And if all fails, there's the X mode to keep your eyesight protected. Plus, the reaction time of the sensors is 1 20,000th of a second, which is quite fast. Overall, I'd say that the Miller is easy to use and super comfortable. The large, digital push buttons are easy to activate and the cover lens is designed for a quick change. The headgear feels snug yet roomy enough, which will allow you to work for hours on end. On the downside, if you work for hours on end, you'll need to occasionally readjust the helmet as it may come loose. Another thing I'm not in love with is the fact that the Miller only comes with a lithium-C battery without a solar panel to recharge it. At Number 2. Lincoln Electric Viking 3350. When I say runner-up, I mean it in the best way possible, I had the hardest time deciding on whether the Miller Digital or the Lincoln Electric is my top choice. You're probably not surprised, it's tough to compare these two giants in the welding industry. So, the Lincoln Electric Viking 3350 is a close second with incredible optics, a large viewing area, versatile controls and modes, and a high reaction time. It's also compatible with a cheater lens. The Lincoln Electric 3350 comes with a large viewing area of 12.5 square inches and excellent optics, the featured 4C lens technology will give you a clear view of your work with a broader range of colors. If you have a shop near you, try it out. You can see with a 1-1-1-1 rated optical clarity in light or dark, i.e. regardless of whether you weld, cut, or are prepping your surface. Keep in mind that 1-1-1-1 is a perfect optical clarity rating, meaning their shade consistency and minimal to none distortion and blurriness. This auto-darkening welding helmet features a pretty standard shade range between 5 and 13, making it suitable for different kinds of welding. It also comes with four arc sensors, which means it'll catch the arc in any welding position. The reaction time of the arc sensors is pretty impressive and among the best on the market, 1 25th, 000th of a second. In this area, the Lincoln Electric 3350 has the Miller Digital Beat. The Lincoln Electric Viking 3350 welding helmet comes with three modes, weld, cut, and grind mode. The grinding mode button is conveniently placed on the outside of the helmet, which I notoriously love. It makes it way easier to switch between modes and maintains an efficient workflow. A cool thing about the grind mode is that when it's on, there's a light that turns on to remind you you're in grind. 
This significantly reduces the chances of you forgetting about it, striking an arc, and witnessing the light of a supernova before your eyes. The Lincoln Electric is suitable for all sorts of professional applications, including general and heavy fabrication, structural, repair, and maintenance welding, as well as construction. It comes with a three-year warranty, which attests to the durability of this welding helmet. Another perk of the Lincoln Electric over the Miller is the fact that it features a solar-powered assist cell for the lithium battery, meaning you can get it recharged. On the downside, the headgear has a lot of knots and bolts, so to speak, that you need to deal with in order to set up the helmet on your head. It's comfortable enough, sure, but the extra straps make it a bit of a hassle. Plus, the headgear is heavier than others and goes loose every now and then, which is also, meh. At Number 3. ASAB Sentinel A50. I finally give you the most comfortable welding helmet ESAB Sentinel A50. The adjustable 5-point halo headgear makes this auto-darkening welding helmet suitable for hours of non-stop work, even if it is heavier than some other models. The ESAB Sentinel A50 also comes with great optical clarity, lots of memory settings, a broad shade range, and various modes. The optical rating is 1-1-1-2, very slightly worse than the Lincoln, but that's probably due to the fact that the auto-darkening lens is curved, my main beef with this helmet. Other than that, the true color view is pretty awesome. If you work with different types of welding at different amperages, you'll love this helmet. The ESAB Sentinel A50 comes with 8 memory settings that you can set up ahead of time. Once you've predefined the settings, specifying variables like lens shade level, sensitivity, and delay, you can simply select whichever combination suitable for your welding process that day. You select the memory setting from the featured touchscreen panel. Like my top two picks, the ASAB Sentinel A50 comes with four arc sensors, a handy external grind mode button, a shade range between 5 and 13, and a super fast reaction time of 125th000th of a second. Plus, it comes with a solar cell you can use to charge the lithium batteries. Although the ASAB can be useful for professionals and weekend warriors alike, it's probably too pricey for the second category. My main gripe with this model is the curved lens, which can sort of distort your viewing area and create an unpleasant glare. Plus, it comes with only a two-year warranty, which is okay but worse than the others. At Number 4. 3M Speedglass Welding Helmet. If you're ready to make a serious investment into your new welding helmet, 3M Speedglass can take you for a sweet ride. All the controls are external, which makes it super easy to use and switch to grind mode. The 3M Speedglass comes with a standard shade range, 5, 8 to 13, and level 3 light shade, and it's suitable for low and high amperage TIG welding. It's a great choice for professionals who work in heavy infrastructure and construction. The 3M Speedglass is great for long hours of work. It features great optics that allow you to see more realistic colors without your eyes growing tired. It's also got side windows so you can maintain good awareness of your environment. Plus, it doesn't get foggy, so all this put together means you can wear the helmet down for hours without feeling stuffy. The reaction time of the 3M Speedglass is 1 tenth 000th of a second, which is fine but honestly, I'd expect it to be faster for a helmet of its price. It also doesn't feature a solar panel, but only a C lithium battery. At Number 5. Yes Welder LYG M800H. This Yes Welder is one of the best auto-darkening welding helmets you can get for an affordable price. To be honest, it's not what you'd call a super cheap welding helmet, but you shouldn't be buying anything cheaper than this anyway, there's a good chance it won't do its job protecting you. The shade range on the helmet is again pretty standard, 5 to 13. The Yes Welder has a lot of features I'm into. It utilizes a lithium battery that can be charged with solar power, it has a solar cell, a large viewing area, and a true color view with an optical rating of 1-1-1-2, which is pretty decent. In fact, the optics make it great for TIG welding, you need to see the puddle for the precision TIG requires. The helmet is comfortable and has the same auto-dark time as my premium pick, i.e. of 1 ten thousandth of a second, which in this case, is quite decent considering the cost. Of course, it comes with a grinding mode and is compatible with a magnifying lens, cheater lens. Overall, this is a great helmet for the money. One possible drawback is that all controls, not just grinding mode, are external, 
but this is mostly a matter of preference. Another issue is that the straps may pop loose after a while. The biggest problem I encountered was that some welders felt the lens wasn't dark enough. This seems to be the exception, but in any case, I'd say it's safest to use it for TIG welding on thin sheet metals, like steel. In any case, I wouldn't recommend this welding helmet to professional welders. It's better suited for hobbyists and weekend warriors.